Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lisa Riola. I'm the Vice President for Institutional Advancement at Roger Williams University. And welcome. Um, despite the weather, everybody came out for this really important occasion uh, this afternoon. And I'm so pleased to see President and Maya Farish and many of our faculty and staff, um, the alumni who are being honored today, along with their classmates and family and friends who are joining us to mark a really special occasion. Um, for the alumni in the room, many years out, and the newly graduated, um, I'd like to start this event off by reminding everyone that there was a 10-year stretch that we did not do this. Uh, there was a time when we were not um, taking uh, the opportunity to uh, honor and recognize the alumni who have uh, distinguished themselves. So a few years ago, we changed that. And today marks the fifth year that we have done this um, award ceremony since a hiatus that was much too long. Um, everybody needs to understand that establishing tradition is very difficult. It's a hard fought victory when you're able to bring it back. It's like cutting down a redwood tree. It takes a long time for something like that to come back. Um, so we are determined not to allow this to lapse again in the future. And for the alumni and the faculty and the staff, remember that administrators are just passing through, but you really are the common denominator that defines the institution. So it's uh, important to remember uh, why we do this and to continue to celebrate the remarkable men and women of the Roger Williams uh, community. The alumni who are being recognized today are the absolute best representation of the value of a Roger Williams education. They have led lives of significance across a broad range of disciplines, and they truly embody the core values and our core purpose of strengthening society by choosing to engage in the problems of the communities that we serve at Roger Williams. These alums are the ambassadors out in the world, and, we have, uh, and they have brought us great honor um, in the work that they do. So we are really uh, proud to salute them today. It's equally gratifying to see the faculty and the family members and the friends who've taken the time to celebrate with them. And we are so pleased that they're part of this, um, uh, part of this occasion. Um, for all that the alumni have done and will do in the coming years to give back to Roger Williams, we want to reinforce our commitment to you um, we aim to be an institution that daily earns the respect and trust that you have placed in your alma mater. So welcome, everybody. Um, it now is my honor to introduce two of the officers of the Alumni Association, uh, Chip Craig from the uh, great class of 1994, and Lindsay Gum from the great class of O. Nine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Good evening. Um, we're gonna, Chip and I are gonna present the Class Leadership Award. And the Class Leadership Award recognizes the members of a class for extraordinary leadership, organization, and support of Roger Williams University. It's presented annually to honor an outstanding class that encourages exceptional participation and meaningful engagement in the life of the university. So this year, the Alumni Association is proud to present the Class Leadership Award to the graduates of 2001. <laughs> and by the sound of it, there's a few of them here. So excellent. Thank you very much for representing your class. Uh, you guys are also celebrating your 15th year at Reunion, and, uh, and sounds like you're having a good time as well, so that's great. Ryan, good timing with the beer and wine right before it, right? So accepting the award is alumni, uh, alumna Aaron Lichtenstein. So Aaron, come on up. Okay. Here. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
So I'm just going to take a second to first and foremost thank the university for hosting this amazing event um, and just really recognize that as leaders, it is our responsibility to recognize and pursue opportunities that are set forth. I know that's something that I learned as a graduate of Roger Williams. And on behalf of the class, this is one opportunity that um, I know I was excited. We have a group here. And I actually want to thank Sue Bedusa and Sam Kennedy. They're back there somewhere. Give a little wave. Yeah, yeah. A little wave. Um, for really inspiring all of us to not only recognize this opportunity of this weekend, but to seize the moment and get together with good friends and come to a magical place that helped form us into who we are. So thank you for this award, and we're excited to, sure. to be here. And look forward to many other years. So at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Heather Bajulian, class of 1997, who is also the president of the Alumni Association. Heather will present this year's Alumni Service Award. I love this packed house, it's great. Uh, the Alumni Service Award recognizes a graduate for outstanding service to the university through his or her voluntary contributions that go above and beyond the normal call of duty. This year's recipient is Megan Alves, class of 1991. <laughs> Megan has led the charge in supporting Alumni Weekend and recognizing the work of, and talent of the theater alumni and faculty over the past few years. A special event in 2013 honored Professor William Grant George's 80th birthday, which was... <laughs> which was attended by so many alumni that many who hadn't been back to campus since graduation, their re-engagement was really all due to Megan's efforts. And Professor Grand George is here with his wife, Nancy, today. So thank you for coming. In 2014, the momentum continued with a successful production honoring Professor Diane Cronwell. Crowell. Sorry, my fault, my fault. And last year was no exception with a beautiful tribute honoring one of Megan's mentors, Professor Peter Wright, on the occasion of his retirement. <laughs> Peter and Megan hold a very special bond because he was her first director, casting her, casting her in John Gabriel Borkman in her debut performance at Roger Williams. <laughs> Megan's family was a very strong influence in her theater career. Both of her parents were actors, and as a family, they would participate in the Re Revolutionary War reenactments together in New Jersey. Those early days of acting led to Megan's deep love for theater and everything related to performance. Her legacy continues with her two sons, and the oldest is following in mom's footsteps and performing in school productions and will be de debuting in his first community theater uh, performance this summer. We hope to see him at a Roger Williams stage soon. A few years, a couple more years. <laughs> Megan is a superstar alum. Her determination, strength, and unwavering loyalty to the university are unmatched. Her friends will tell you that she played a huge role in why they love their time at Roger Williams. She has a big heart, and they always knew that they could count on her for a big hug. We are honored to have Megan with us this year, celebrating her 25th reunion, hard to believe, and once again leading the charge for the theater alumni's bash at the barn. It was with deep appreciation that the Alumni Association presents the 2016 Alumni Service Award to Megan Alves. Okay, you knew I was gonna do that, right? Um, I feel so selfish in accepting this award because I do what I do, not just because I love Roger Williams University and I love the people who made being a student at Roger Williams so incredibly special, um, my former professors, now my friends, um, and my former fellow students, also my friends, um, but I just want everybody to be together. I want to get together and have a great time, at least once a year. So that's really why I do this. Um, I do 
um, have a great passion for recognizing the events that Heather mentioned, the milestones in the theater and with our, um, our family, if you will. Um, and I guess that is really what drives me, is the passion for theater, but passion also for the people. Um, the people who made the theater here at Roger Williams University my home. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, I also want to take a moment just to thank a few people. Um, I really want to thank um, my wonderful, wonderful friends, uh, my fellow Roger Williams theater peeps who nominated me for this award. It actually, Ryan can tell you, um, I was blown away when I received that phone call. Um, I'm receiving an award because I'm the best at herding cats. <laughs> I, it's awesome. And as difficult as these people can be sometimes, Mark Axelson, to, to get together in one place and to, to listen and play nicely together, it is worth every single moment. Um, I'd also like to thank the Alumni Association for recognizing me with this honor. I, uh, again, I, it's almost unbelievable that I am getting recognized for doing something that I love so very, very much. So thank you all very much and um, have a great rest of your weekend. I just wanna say that there's already a collection of tissues up here. <laughs> Okay, and get ready for more. So um, I am uh, very proud uh, to present the 2016 Young Alumni Achievement Award. This award recognizes a recent graduate for significant long-term accomplishments who in his or her, in this case happens to be her, 10 years since graduation has made outstanding contributions to her chosen profession and has rendered distinguished service to the public welfare, thus honoring Roger Williams University and the Alumni Association. This year's recipient is Teresa Gonia from the class of 2013. And I'd like her to come join me up here. And come stand next to me. You're gonna make me look bad. <laughs> Um, so Teresa is an alumna who has achieved great professional success in just three years since graduating. Remember, you could be as much as 10 years out to get this, but she's getting it after three years. And if I were you, I'd keep an eye on her because her success seems to be multiplying exponentially. As I read her life story, I'm convinced that she is destined for greatness, so remember her name. Uh, Teresa is a native of Central Falls. Uh, she was born to Portuguese immigrant parents. Her mom is here today with us. Welcome, who came to the United States to fulfill their dreams. She, over and over again, in so many of the interviews that I read about you, she continuously credits her parents for her success because she was able to bear witness to the struggles that her family overcame in order to thrive in a new country, see? Do you know why we need these here? Um, so Teresa's story really is a first generation story. Um, Portuguese uh, culture and traditions are important to her, having graduated from the Portuguese, Portuguese school at Club Juventude Lusitana, Lusitana, dancing with the Portuguese folk folklore group for 15 years and serving as president of the dance troupe. Teresa places family at the heart of her professional success, their words of advice resonating with her daily about the need to give back to the community and be an active citizen, always engaging with her community. Her moral compass points constantly towards others and a pay it forward philosophy is her guide. 
During her college years, she was active with the Roger Williams Chapter of uh, Public Relations Student Society of America, PRSSA, serving as vice president and with the Intercultural Center, where she was a mentor for the Bridge to Success program. Her dedication to Roger Williams continues to this day as she returns to the ICC for the ceremony where we present the stoles to the graduating senior, seniors and always remind them um, of where they came from and who their biggest fans are. Teresa serves as a mentor for current students, assisting the admissions office with recruitment and visiting campus frequently to speak about her inspiring journey. Since her graduation in 2013, she's been deeply involved with the Rhode Island community, serving as a board member for the Central Falls High School Alumni Association and the Providence Children's Youth Cabinet, also as a director representative for the Providence Performing Arts Center. Her volunteerism squarely aligns with her current role as Deputy Chief of Staff for Mayor Jorge Lorza in Providence. Mayor Lorza very much wanted to uh, be here today, so he sends his regrets that he couldn't join us. Um, she was appointed to her position in 2014 after serving Mayor James Diosa as the Business Outreach and Public Relations Coordinator for the City of Central Falls, and before that as a Communications Assistant in the Latino Policy Institute at Roger Williams University. Teresa is driven to make positive impacts in the community and her career path is a highlight reel of her passion. As Deputy Chief of Staff at Providence City Hall, she manages special projects as well as interfacing with various city boards and committees on behalf of, um, uh, on behalf of uh, Mayor Lorza. She has a special interest in working with organizations devoted to youth and education. Um, Teresa's desire to give back to the youth of Rhode Island, especially Central Falls, is evident in her involvement with the High School Alumni Association. One of her former teachers from Central Falls, Ron Thompson, who also wanted to be here, um, and he was sorry that he couldn't join us, but he, what he wanted us to, uh, to tell you is that Teresa knows the struggles of youth in urban communities based on her own personal experience, which is highlighted in a book uh, a School in Trouble, A Personal Story of Central Falls High. Um, this book features students who are able to succeed in a chronically low achieving school located in the poorest community in the state. Teresa shines as a bright star for the Central Falls community and for Roger Williams and her, her past teachers are very proud of her accomplishments. We are thrilled to have Teresa with us today, although I have to admit that I almost wish that you couldn't make it because she joins us from Las Vegas, where she was just representing Rhode Island in the Miss USA pageant. <laughs> and the only thing that would have kept her from us today if, is if she, was, um, if she had uh, won the pageant, which she should have won the pageant. If I was a judge, she would have won. Um, so the, the Roger Williams Alumni Association is very, very proud to present you with the 2016 Young Alumni Award, Teresa Angonia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do this the opposite way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I should bring you with you, me, you with me everywhere to introduce me. Maybe sounds so much cooler than I think I am. <laughs> Um, but first, I just want to thank the Alumni Association. How great is it to have a weekend where we recognize the hard work of individuals from our community? But really, I just, I'm so honored, but I wish we lived in a world where we didn't need to be recognized for the work that we need to do. And I wish we would all just do our part because that's what I think I do. I just try to inspire other people to be involved in their communities, to be active citizens, because it's so important. And really, my activism comes because I grew up in an urban community and I remember people telling me that I wasn't good enough or that we couldn't achieve success because of where we came from. And so I just try to inspire others to do their part, know that they can achieve success because really if you work hard, you can get anywhere that you want. And I try to share that story with people when I host them now as interns or whenever I come back to campus because I really want students to know that they can achieve success. And I really just want everyone to know that regardless of getting, whether you get an award or not, it's just so important to be involved. So thank you so much, Roger Williams, for instilling that in me. 
President Farish is a great leader, and I'm so fortunate to know him very well and Maya Farish, um, who are also very active within the Rhode Island community, and I'm fortunate to work with them in my capacity in the mayor's office. So thank you so much, and um, I'm just truly so blessed to be here, and a special thank you to my mom as well for being an amazing role model and a forceful woman um, in my life. So thank you. I don't know if I could travel with you everywhere, but um, <laughs> yes. Um, so it is now my pleasure um, to, um, to bring President Farish to the podium. Um, before I bring him up here, I want to say that it really isn't a coincidence that the uh, revival of the Alumni Awards is coincident with President Farish taking the helm at Roger Williams in 2011. I really can't imagine a leader who is more authentic in his drive for excellence, for relevance, and for impact, and for access in higher education. Um, Don Farish is a leader not only for RWU, but really a compelling voice in the 21st century um, for higher education and uh, really li lifting, lifting up the entire enterprise. He, he cares deeply about our alumni community and will before long create an army of believers in his vision for the future of Roger Williams University. So please um, help me welcome uh, President Farish. Thank you, Lisa. That was, that was very kind. Um, I'm going to uh, give you that $20 later. Uh, <laughs> So the uh, Distinguished Alumnus or Alumna Award uh, for the year recognizes a graduate for several things, for significant long-term success in personal and professional achievements, for outstanding contributions to his or her profession, and certainly for distinguished service to public welfare, thus honoring Roger Williams University and our Alumni Association. And this year's honoree, Mark Fallon from the class of 1978, meets all of these requirements with room to spare. In fact, as you can see from his extensive bio, which is in very small print because there's a lot to say <laughs> in the program, his long list of accomplishments and awards makes him the favorite for next year's award too. So we're thinking... <laughs> if you condense Mark's impressive resume to its essence, it describes a man who is a public servant in the truest sense of those words. And for that, we can all be proud that he calls Roger Williams University his alma mater. Actually, he calls Roger Williams College his alma mater because that's what it was when he graduated. <laughs> Upon leaving what was then Roger Williams College with a degree in administration of justice, Mark has spent nearly 40 years as a federal agent, a counterintelligence officer, and national security professional. The bulk of his government career, 27 years, was spent with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service commonly known as NCIS. I think they made a television program about it. <laughs> with stops along the way with the US Marshal Service and Departments of Homeland Security and Defense, Mark has been intimately involved in some of the most significant terrorist investigations of the last 25 years, including the attack on the USS Cole in Yemen, the investigation of Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman, the so-called blind Sheikh, on American soil, and the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. Mark continues to use his vast knowledge and highly honed practical skills in the private sector as director of Club Fed, that's Club, not Club Med, Fit Club Fed, <laughs> different place, uh, which provides strategic consulting services to public and private clients in the areas of crisis management, risk assessment, and insider threats. Throughout his public and private careers, Mark has been a leading advocate for the ethical investigation and prosecution of terrorists who threaten the United States and other civilized countries around the globe. He has strongly and publicly opposed the use of torture and has pushed for evidence-based research to help inform and improve interrogation techniques. While Mark has years of experience as a field agent and hands-on investigator, he has in many ways, uh, he is also in many ways a teacher and an academic because he has spent countless hours designing, developing, and implementing training programs 
for his professional colleagues and other law enforcement personnel. He's also shared his expertise with a much broader audience through numerous appearances on national and international news programs, including CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, and the BBC, and via opinion pieces in a variety of publications ranging from the Huffington Post to the Journal of Applied Cognitive Psychology. Mark has built an impressive career as an international security expert and an author and keynote speaker on combating terrorism, violent extremism, counterintelligence, and interviewing strategies, but he has never forgotten where he came from. As Dean Bob McKenna wrote in his nomination of Mark for this award, there is no question that Mark's early experiences at Roger Williams generated a love for our institution that endures and grows. He continues to visit RWU to share his knowledge, experiences, and wisdom with today's students, helping to develop the next generation of practitioners and scholars in criminal justice. Mark has also worked directly with the faculty of the School of Justice Studies. In fact, one of his research partners, Professor Melissa Rossano, is with us today. Where, where did she get to? Ah, oh, there she is. You're hiding behind the... Okay, I see you, Melissa. <laughs> Mark and Melissa have uh, produced important research that continues to inform the development of lawful and ethical interview and interrogation policies. In recognition of his life's work as a true public servant, of which this university is truly proud, please join me in congratulating Mark Fallon, class of 1978, as the 2016 Distinguished Alumnus of the Year. President Farris, uh, th thank you so much. I want to first and foremost uh, uh, thank uh, the Justice Studies Program, uh, Stephanie Manzi and, and Bob McKee and Melissa Rossano for, for the nomination for this. It, it, it's a humbling honor uh, uh, for me to be here uh, with you. Um, I, I stepped onto this, uh, to this campus, actually it was the, the lower campus, uh, in 1974 for the first time, uh, having uh, really limited experience. I had been to Canada one time on a church tour, and the furthest north I had been from New Jersey where I grew up was to visit my relatives in Johnston, uh, Rhode Island here. Uh, and uh, uh, the Mount Hope Bridge was symbolic, uh, bridges to the world uh, for, for Roger Williams students and for me. Uh, and having, having never flown in a plane before, uh, growing up just outside of Newark, New Jersey, uh, this institution helped me uh, uh, become uh, what I became, a, a federal agent, law enforcement officer, uh, and I, I've been to now more than 50 countries, uh, and, and I've traveled around the world, uh, but, but it, it, Roger Williams was a bridge for me uh, uh, to, to do so. Uh, uh, thank you to the President Alumni Association uh, uh, for, for honoring me here today. Um, I, I told my wife, she always uh, threatens me that I embarrass her uh, when, when I'm up for a microphone. Uh, particularly the time I was on uh, CNN, he said, did you just call Dick Cheney a liar? I said, yeah, I, I, I said, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think I did, I think I did. So, so preparing uh, to come here, I, I was trying to think of, uh, of how I could boil down in a few words what, uh, what I learned here at Roger Williams. Uh, and, 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 and really, uh, I, I could say th three words. Magna est veritas, uh, the Roger Williams motto, uh, truth is mighty. Uh, and, and through my career, uh, I have had to tell truth to power a number of times uh, to the uh, secretaries of defense, and, and I've testified before Congress, uh, and I've had to stand up to an issue that I believed in, uh, the Constitution, uh, and those foundations were set right here at Roger Williams, uh, learning about the Constitution, the rules of evidence. Uh, so, so, uh, so while I was part of Roger Williams uh, for four years, uh, since then Roger Williams has been part of me. Uh, so, so I want to thank you, you so much for, for what you helped me become. I just want to close with a few words because uh, when I was thinking about what to say, 
uh, about an hour ago. Uh, I don't like to prepare too, too, too far in advance. Uh, I prefer to wig it. Um, my, my granddaughter saw me uh, staring out the window of my, my dorm room, a uh, much different dorm room than I was here. Uh, I, I love what you guys have done to the place. Uh, uh, and and my, my granddaughter said, what are you doing? She said, I said, well, I, I'm going to have to say a few words. And she said, well, uh, do you need help? I said, well, she said, she said, all you have to say is, Roger Williams is awesome. <laughs> so, so, so let me quote, close with a quote from Candace Jade Fallon, my seven-year-old granddaughter here. Roger Williams is awesome. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, aren't you glad we brought the Alumni Awards back? Each year, the recipients are entirely different and entirely the same in their passion to make an impact, to leave a legacy. And it tells me that there's something special in the DNA of this institution. It's so clear that our graduates are driven to make a difference in society in ways that are meaningful and intimate and bring credit to their profession above and beyond mere personal notoriety or gain. And it's so important that we acknowledge their accomplishments because in many ways they are our own. Again, I wanna thank the faculty and family and friends and alumni for joining us here today. And uh, let's give another round of applause to all of our honorees. <laughs>